Hello and welcome to this review for uh, Lego Ninjago Dragons Rising number 71798 Nya and Aaron's Baby Dragon Battle. So this set uh, technically hasn't released yet. It should be releasing uh, tomorrow. However, uh, Walmarts in Canada have been getting these slightly early, so I was able to pick it up. Um, I paid too much for this, as, as we'll see in the review. And I just want to show it to you in case you're curious about it, if you think it's, uh, if you want to see if it's worth the price or not. Spoiler alert, it is not. But if there's any curious parent to see what, what, what the set entails, here it is. There's actually a lot in it, uh, even though it is a 4 plus set. Uh, it doesn't feel 4 plus like many of the other 4 plus sets. For example, this build here, uh, and this one, it's, it's just standard Lego bricks. Yeah, there's, there's less to do, but it's not, more or less uh, expert. There's not these specialized parts. Basically, the only specialized parts you do get that make the job a lot easier, and they're, they're the same, it's uh, here. It's the body of the dragon, and that part also ends up being seen here. All right? So that, that, that part's uh, well, bigger, and you know it makes it easier to do the, the rest. Uh, however, aside from that, Yes, there's big pieces, but it doesn't feel necessarily four plus. Like I mean, I, I don't think and I don't think that a seven year old or or even an eight year old would feel uh, that this is too you know below them to make this set. Uh, yeah, so uh, I'll go through it bit by bit. Uh, there are four elements to it. I'll go start with smallest to the biggest. So uh, actually, you know what we'll do? We'll start with the actual figures. That'll be easier. Put this aside, we'll come back later. So here we have the Imperium Claw General. I'm going to bring him a bit closer so you can see the face. It's him, dual molded uh, blade here, which is pretty nice. And this is him without the helmet, if you're curious. We'll put it back. Then we have Nia. Yeah, she's holding um, a club with, uh, uh, with, a, with a drumstick here. That's for the baby dragon. She does have a sword. It's fine. I'll show you the head sculpt. So there is an alternate face you see here to create this effect. And yes, there's, she has a little smile on the other end. If, you, if ever you take off this part, see it? Yeah, so with the cowl on, this is how it looks like. So that's Nia. Then we get to Aaron, who has, I gotta say, this is actually a really cool element. This, um, this uh, grappling hook, really well done. Now, Aaron, unlike Nia, does not have an alternate face, but to show you what bottom looks like here he is and that's that's his, how his mouth looks like now I'll put it back good now the other figure I want to show you before we move on is the baby dragon which I think is very adorable very well done no there's no um, uh, articulation whatsoever I just think it's 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 cute it does the job there he is. Now the little dragon has a cave that he can reside in. And here's the cave, like I said. Uh, it's it's not elaborate at all, but it is made with traditional Lego bricks. <coughs> nothing, nothing too specialized. And you can go in here. Little cave. And let's have him there. There you go. There is also here. This is kind of like a weapons platform which could be used either for training or offensively depending on how your kid wants to play it so also a simple simple build but we made with traditional lego bricks and what it does here is very simple you just take a disc and it will fly through it's that there you go no wait that <laughs> that didn't work at all <laughs> that was full of the other side yeah there that's one i'll place it back to show you that it can still work 
I go, I'll place the other disc. And there you go, it shoots. And now it's fine. I just have to press down a bit more. And yeah, as you saw, we can store discs up here if you want. Good. And yeah, there's a little, uh, little fire. That's all. Not much to explain, not much more to it than that. Now the big, the big, the bigger builds, sorry, the biggest build is the dragon, but we'll get to that in a moment. The enemy has this kind of ship, which, uh, like said, so, yeah, so this is the main big specialized part, but there's also these as well, these rotors, and these do spin, as you may expect, and you can put them in any way you want, so they can have a go for vertical takeoff, go this way, this way, whatever your kid wants to do. There, it's all prints, no stickers. That's fun. And the villain sits comfortably inside. Yeah, I do find the back looks very unfinished. It does not look great. Uh, so it's it's just functional for function's sake. It's it's it looks okay. Uh, it does the job if you're a kid. But uh, like I said, there's there's not much going on with the back. It, it looks very, very amateurish. And when it comes to dragon, dragon's actually pretty fun. Uh, so like I said, same specialized part at the bottom here. Another specialized part would be the head. The head is just one piece. So it's not brick built like other. Let's see if I can remove it to show you better. Uh, you know what, we'll, we'll leave it there. I don't want to mess things up too much. But yeah, so the head is dual molded. With very nice printing on it. So yeah, I guess that's where the a bulk of the cost is, or at least what what Lego wants you to think. Um, I I'm not too fond of the wings. So while I guess they look they look sorry like this they look okay. It looks more kind of like a dragonfly type, not very meaty. And I'm assuming that this is what you. I guess what you what you're left with for the claws of the dragon. This part I find really not great. Once again, looks unfinished. And like I said, the pieces that are used here are kind of small anyway, so I don't see why they couldn't just add it. Like it's not how can I say this. Even this being a four plus set, the fact that they are giving you you know slightly intricate building techniques to me is not a reason why they couldn't have a few more of those pieces to make the arms. Like if you're able to get get here. Doing a little bit more uh, is, is not, um, will not be more demanding of whoever is building this in the first place. Just demanding of Lego to give us more parts, I guess. Okay, so the legs at the bottom are Velociraptor legs. So like I said, what, I mean, these are, these are reused parts. There's not, it's, you'll see what the price is, it becomes really crazy. And yeah, uh, the, this, this the tail moves, so it's the head, the legs. And the wings and you can fit multiple figures here so I can put two either you have them standing I'll just do one to show you that they can stand but I prefer them sitting so when I have them sitting one can be like this and the other either standing so Nya can be standing and we'll remove the drumstick from her hand either Nya is Nya is standing or you can have her sitting So it fits well that way. So there you go. That, that's what that's what you get all together. Now this whole package is thirty five dollars USD. Uh, in Canadian, it's thirty nine dollars, which makes it uh, so like thirty nine nine nine, so forty dollars, which makes it cheaper. But uh, still, it, it's a terrible price. So there's only one hundred fifty seven pieces, and yes, like I said, big pieces here, the bottom of each, the head, and. I guess the, the wings here, but like it's it's not enough to justify the price. I think this is a terrible price, and I really don't recommend anyone to buy this. Uh, you you have when it comes to sets. I mean, and the the weird thing is that this is this doesn't feel like a real four plus set. It doesn't feel easy enough for a four year old since there is some intricate building around. Uh, like for example, even like doing something such as this, this feels slightly more advanced, like maybe for five or six. So. I don't really see the advantage of this being a 4 plus set. The only thing that is kind of fun is the fact that you have three different uh, booklets that you can use to do this set. So you can have like a parent doing it next to them or a few siblings doing it at the same time. So that aspect's fun. 
But aside, I mean, but that's still it, the printing cost can't. It, it does not equal to to forty dollars or thirty five dollars. The most I would I would see I would recommend this for is if you find it's on sale for twenty five dollars USD or thirty dollars Canadian. It it sounds it would be okay, but anything beyond that I think is just highway robbery. So no, I I, I bought the set to show you what there is inside so that. You can be convinced not to buy it. Of course, if you do, if you, if, if you want to buy it, then I don't mind, as long as this review was useful to you. All right, and on this note, I wish you all a great day. Bye.